We're finally on volume three. Finally. Apparently, it's hard to come by to get a physical copy. Oh dear. I thought I had one. Oh, I must have sold it. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm just going by rumors. I have no real idea. So, we're looking at Guts just chopped off the head of uh, a dragon? I can't even tell what that is. I don't know what it is. <laughs> and then there's another one. Yeah, it looks like a dragon. A dragon. Oh, no. That has a slug head. All right. Ah! Who that? No. It looks like Batman on steroids. <laughs> like, who that? <laughs> well, that's been a while. <laughs> a little small head, though. I guess she pissed off a voodoo priest. You know, all the muscles. <laughs> All right, <laughs> muscle. Okay, so it's it's still the Guardians of Desire up until about 185. Then it's the Golden Age. Uh, I actually associate Volume 4 with the beginning of the Golden Age, but this is coming from someone who's pretty much flying blind at this point. So, they... Oh, hi, Guts. Ooh, he's got his smexy poise. And he has a sword in his shoulders, and he's, like, leaning against it. But he don't want to have sex, though. <laughs> That's not what he does at this time. Oh, uh, so Guts is in deep shit, and Puck is watching helpless. And this is in color. So the count looks like he has fur on him. I can't tell what that is. Uh, hello. I'm just looking at something right now. Okay. Whoops. No, don't do that. Um, it's over. Yeah, no it isn't. Because volume 38 will be out June 24th. It's not over by a long shot. I know this. So come on, wake up. It cuts just look... Looks like his eye just went completely white. Like someone poured milk in it. <laughs> That's what it looks like, honest. <clears throat> oh, poor Puck. Come on. No, oh, it isn't Puck. It's not over. <laughs> he looks so worried. Like, who are you who are always so high and mighty? Always putting other people down. Yeah, yeah. Wake up, dummy. Aw, look at Puck. He looks so sad. Distraught. No matter how much you've tried to hone your skills, you've come to the limit of your pathetic human form. How fragile, you humans. Oh, uh, Puck's not happy to hear that. <laughs> oh no, wait, I think that's Guts. Or is it Puck? Oh, it's Puck who's saying it. Like, what the hell did you just say? Look who's bragging! Baldy! <laughs> Baldy! You... And he used to be one of those fragile humans. Yeah, but he's not gonna get that. I guarantee it. Oh. Yeah, see, he looks kind of smug, but at the same time, he's like, what? Like, how did you know that? Uh, see, here, Puck is pointing out that this wasn't really about revenge. Like, if it, well, it wasn't just about that because... If it was only about revenge and all you had to do was exercise your authority... Oh, that's true! Yeah! Because... Well... I can only, like, speak for English medieval law. Like, kind of. I don't know. But you couldn't be executed for adultery. But treason, on the other hand, you could be charged with that. So yeah, like he could just have her charged with treason and then I don't think kings are the only ones who did that. Like he he probably had similar rights. I'm, I, I'm not sure, but I'm almost positive, yeah, Puck is right. He could divorce her because uh, a pretty... I mean, I'm going to assume that they could do that in Midland, in that area. I'm going to just go ahead and assume it. He could have her executed for treason, so 
the long winded the long story short is he didn't have to become an apostle to get rid of her so that's true the truth is you became this thing to run away from the pain inside your own heart that's yeah if anyone's a fragile human it's you <laughs> oh damn Oh, Puck, I just want to give you a hug, hug you and squeeze you and name you George. He's so cute. And he looks, like, stunned. He's like, what? How did you know that? You know, like, you're kidding, right? Well, no, he's not. <laughs> and that sounds about right. Couldn't take the pain, so you want to just get rid of it instead of trying to work through it and heal. Nah, you gotta just numb everything that sounds about right yeah he's what a surprise i always thought that elves had the intellect of a bird or a squirrel no they they don't actually they're pretty smart squirrel <laughs> oh he's got acorn for that i'll spare your life now <laughs> get out of my sight and be gone no yeah just like a human to try to cover up a sore spot like that and a bailet falls on his head. Boink. <laughs> Where did that come from? It just... Is that from the slug count? I just... This thing, the lips on it. I guess a bailet just fell on his head. Oh. Uh. And Puck is just... Ouchie! Yeah, it's, it's a big one too. It's like half the size of Puck. Uh, you saved me the trouble of looking for it myself. Oh yeah, Guts had it, and it fell out of his pouch, and boink. <laughs> but what do you need it for, what? To turn Teresa into an apostle? <laughs> and Puck, he's like, no. She's like, I'm gonna hand this over to the likes of you. <laughs> now you've got another thing coming. <laughs> now look at its eye open, it looks like he's rolling his eyes. Like, you're kidding me, right? Says Mr. Baylet. Oh, he don't look happy. Like, Puck's running away from Slug Count because he's trying to hit him. And the bail it. It's just, oh my god, you're kidding. Yeah, the insect, it can't, you can't hit it. Ha ha. Ah. When it comes to making a getaway, I'm the one with the advantage. Uh, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Smaller. Yeah. Uh, can't seem to get him. Puck's dodging rocks. Baylet looks pissed. Yeah. Uh-oh. Puck fell down. Went boom. Oh, no. He's going to get squished. Oh. Oh, it's Teresa. She's looking for Puck. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Like, what the hell is that? No. Yeah, really. <laughs> and she's... Oh my god, she's just terrified. Oh man. There's some denial here. <laughs> like, no, this can't be happening. This isn't happening. There yeah, I don't think she's going to be listening to you. <laughs> oh dear. He's heading her way. Oh, looks like he's got a lot of hands now. Oh, he's paralyzed. The slug count. He can't seem to move. But somebody can't move. Nah, no, Puck, you're not gonna die. That's guts. Yeah. <laughs> That's guts. He's throwing them daggers. There he is. He's picking up his sword and he's gonna kick your ass. And he looks kinda awkward here. Like knock kneed. He's like an anime girl, except he's not. And he broke the wall, because that's what he does. Oh, he was pretending. Pretend that you're dead. Oh. oh, Oh, he's crying. And let's see. I predict that Guts is going to flick him away. Let's see. He doesn't. Okay. Yeah, he's still alive. No shit. And he does kind of, like, give him... Like a hand, he like, like back off, Puck, because I'm gonna kick this guy's ass. He, you know, he smiled. Yeah, but he looks like a lunatic, though. I think he's pretty confident that somebody's going down. Not good enough, 
just two or three broken bones. <laughs> I ain't no guts of love's pain or anything. If you want to stop me, you're going to have to crush my skull or pierce my heart. Just like you, slug. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm, no mercy. Oh, Jesus. Big ass foot is kicking guts. Oh, God. It's like slammed against the wall. Yeah, it's just getting worse and worse. No, oh, he's not gonna die. We already know. Oh, there's Teresa. He grabbed her. And, oh, what? What? <laughs> Oh, God, it's like, talk about doing what it takes. Dude, he grabs Teresa, and at first I thought, oh, he's gonna protect her, right? Nah, bullshit. He's using her as a human shield. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, even Puck is fucking horrified. I'm not really surprised. I mean, he doesn't give a shit. Not really. Yeah. <laughs> and poor Teresa. Screaming. So I think she knows that he's not on her side. And the slug count does not attack, though. I don't... Teresa, yeah. Oh, so Guts, of course, takes advantage of the hesitation and blasts the shit out of the slug count. And after throwing her on the floor... Oh, damn. <laughs> oh, damn. It blasts the shit out of him. Like his face, it's like gone. Oh. oh he's got a sword in his teeth. <laughs> the the hilt of his sword, like he's biting on it. And he's using his teeth to use to wield the sword. That god, this guy is like strong. And then he slices off the slug count's head. Just shoot. <laughs> like... Holy shit. It's like Guts is Superman. <laughs> oh, damn. Uh, yeah, no shit. Yep, then goes his head. Teresa is just... His puck is shocked. Teresa is screaming. Oh my god, I know, right? And then... Oh my god, yeah. Everything falls apart. Oh, damn. I have to admit, like, that was a, a good, well-played there, Guts. Holy. <laughs> and poor Teresa's traumatized. Oh, Puck realizes something. Something not cool, man. Like, he planned that. He was counting on taking Teresa as a hostage all along. Yeah, but... If he didn't do that, then he wouldn't have been able to lob off the head. So, <laughs> sorry, Puck, but it was necessary. Oh, the head's talking! Ugh. And then he's, uh, looks like he's putting something in the Count's mouth. I guess a sword? A smaller sword? I don't know. Eh, saying I'll show you the limit of a human being. And then he's, um... He's giving the slug count's head a Chelsea smile. We're fragile, all right, we humans. Yeah, well, <laughs> I don't think you are. And poor Teresa, just, no, oh, stab it. Because he's still her father. How is she supposed to feel? Yeah, not in front of the little girl. And, and then he puts the knife against Puck's throat and says, shut up. If you get in the way, I'll kill you. Ooh. And then he... He's not very... I mean, I don't think he's really proud of, like, doing what he did. But, dude, it, it had to be done. And then he says, always so stuck up, Count. Let's give your sweet little daughter a look of that proud face now. Wow, that's... I don't know, that seems pretty needlessly cruel. Because she didn't... I mean, I understand, like, the hostage-taking thing, but doing something like this, I mean, remember, he's still her father, and he's taking this head and, like, showing it to her. He says, don't be so shy. Oh, my God. Take a good, hard look at a body that doesn't lie. 
and he's screaming this like just this hate and rage because vengeance and he just stabs the shit out of that what's left of the count like right in front of her like right in front of I and mean, it's like <laughs> like oh wow yeah just wow and she's still just her nightgown completely vulnerable little girl and he's pulling that right in front of her amazing you really are superhuman you really don't die do you well if you're referring to the apostle you know like they do obviously <laughs> oh damn uh, and again like this is in front of the little girl like no regard for her you know fuck her yeah that's exactly it and like Puck is sitting here crying like why why go that far because again the little girl didn't do anything to you I mean you didn't have to do that not that but that's what happens when you're full of hate. It can be very poisonous. And Teresa's crying. And then Guts is, uh... I, I think he just slips and falls? Like, I can't really tell, but he falls and... Or he's kicking? I can't tell. And then he just falls over in exhaustion and starts laughing. He 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 he. Oh my god. The hell? Oh. Looks like he's like psychotic now. Oh man, he's not very nice. Oh, it's Baylet, just sitting there. Oh, thank God, Puck's not pulling me around. Ah, no, yes, I don't want to die, dude. Not very many people want to die. Sluggy count. Get over it. The Bay. Oh, he's crying. The Baylet's crying. Saying, please get me away from Puck. <laughs> that helps annoying. But yeah, its mouth is wide open, <laughs> and it's uh, and it has its tears of blood. And now it's what the hell is this? Like his eyes are wide open, and there's this room with nothing but stairs, like just going nowhere, like stairs everywhere, nowhere. I mean, that's earlier than I thought. I remember seeing it before, but I thought it was like in later volumes. I guess not. And then, yeah, they're in this dimension of stairs going everywhere, nowhere, all going in the same direction, nowhere. And Teresa is just wondering, what the hell have I been smoking? <laughs> you know, ah, what's going on here? Yeah, exactly. And Guts figures it out. It's another dimension. They're coming. The Great Ones are coming. Oh, you mean the uh, Cthulhu and the Neralathotep? Like, they're coming? Yogg-Sothoth? They're coming? Yeah, it looks like they are. Oh, and Guts is... Oh, God, that brand. Yeah, it's gushing. Gushing blood, and it hurts. Obviously. And, oh, no. It's Batman. Batman standing there on the stairs and guts. He's savage. <laughs> oh wow. And there they are. We've got uh, two potatoes with hands and they float around. It's like mini Baron Harkonnens. That's what they look like. And then there's this uh, woman with some spaghetti hair and boobs, boobs. There's one guy who looks like Peter Gabriel singing Watcher of the Skies. And then we've got this Batman on steroids. <laughs> hey, I'm only calling it as I see it. You know, that's what I'm seeing. And then it says the Guardians of Desire 4 end. Okay, so we got that past that and puck <gasps> and then there's a tornado people are witnessing an f5 tornado over the castle oh that's scary and then then we're a new uh well they're calling it chapter but apparently with manga you're not supposed to do that you're supposed to call it an episode well okay 
So it's in episode 5. And Guts is fainted and... Um... Oh, one thing I'd like to say though is if you notice when you see the god hand that's i know that they're the god hand like the biggest one is in fact the batman on steroids i wonder if that means something or if it will mean something later all right here we go to new episode you got the scent guar here the guar cenobites and once again mr steroid is like bigger than all of them so but I don't, again that might be because to guts like he matters most but it might mean something else to like maybe he's the new leader <laughs> but I don't know yeah that's right puck it's the god hand and it looks like your hair like grew and then stood on end by like 50 feet <laughs> it's oh you called him Griffith He's right there, no more than 20 feet above Guts. And he's looking down at Guts with a smirk. It looks like a smirk. Like, oh damn, no wonder Guts is so pissed. Yep, I was right. It's a smirk. And he screams, Griffith! Okay, I got it wrong. It's like, you ever seen Star Trek to the Wrath of Khan? And Khan is, like, so smug in his ship, like, You will be marooned there, buried alive. And Kirk grabs the communicator and screams, Khan! Khan! It's exactly like this. Like, it's, it's very similar. <laughs> Poor Puck's like, who's Griffith? Well, you're gonna find out. Still squirming around in your pitiful existence. You don't look particularly surprised, though. Like, eyes are wide, pupils are slits. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of obvious what Guts is doing. Oh, boy, that's... Ugh, what is that? Nasty foot? That looks like a chicken foot. <laughs> like your nasty bird feet. Nobody wants to see your nasty bird feet, you nasty bird foot. <laughs> like, oh... Uh, here they are again. And I can't really tell who's saying what here. Like, you who have been ordained by the laws of fate. I don't know if it's Watcher of the Sky saying it, or quote-unquote Griffith. But somebody's saying it, and that head is like, yes. Ah, there it is. It's Mr. Spaghetti Head here. Uh, yeah, that's it. Your desperate desire for life has cleaved open space. Oh, really? And brought us here. And they're calling him Archangel Void. Archangel? That can't be right. That's not an Archangel. <laughs> yeah, that's... So Ken here is asking for vengeance. And they're saying they can't do that. Well, it's not really their p business, I guess. It says, it's not, okay, it's not based on any personal hatred for that man. This is the woman, by the way, Slan, I know who she is. Your desire, which has cleaved open space, is nothing more than an over-attachment to life and the fear of death. Well, no fucking shit, and that's kind of how most people are. And then, I believe this is, uh, Conrad. Like, we have come hither to grant you your deepest desire. You have been ordained by the laws of fate, whatever the fuck that means. And it says, but that man, he's the one they call the Black Swordsman, the one who's destroyed so many apostles of the God Hand. I think he has, like, something, at least five. You should consider him a hated enemy. Mm-hmm. Well, they don't think so. Yeah, they don't. <laughs> They're laughing. I believe this is uh, Ubik. Okay, the one with the John Lennon glasses, I think, is Ubik. Enemy and Slan is smiling. Mrs. Spaghetti Head. Yeah, they find it funny. Oh, damn. 
so fem to a few worthless servants killed is inconsequential to us yeah dear apostles that should tell you something right there the god hand doesn't give a shit about you i just thought you should know that <laughs> god fem to finds this so amusing his petty existence is beneath our notice well not so sure about that seeing as you keep staring at him and smirking and the other god hands aren't really doing this but we know you are i guess slan kind of smiled but i think again it's like enemy nah but uh i notice that he keeps looking at him so yeah sure we all know you're saying it just to piss him off and guts is getting up Oh my god, look at this. He's getting up. He has his big ass sword. He's coming for you. Oh my god. Ah. Will he get him? Will he get Fem 2 in chapter 3? Will he? Oh, was it 5? I don't know. Uh, volume 3, whatever. Yeah, tune in next time. Pfft, that was such fail. <laughs> oh my god.